Today we're going to be looking at the longest force mate found in a professional chess game. The game was between Daniel Duboff with the white pieces and Rasmus Fane with the black pieces at the 22nd European Team Championship in 2019. I have no idea how Duboff found and played this. Maybe it was pattern recognition that led him there. I don't know, but what I do know, it was a forced mate in 13 and it was beautiful. The opening isn't anything new with c4, e6, the English opening, and after knight c3, d5, d4, and knight f6, we've transposed right into the queen's gambit declined. All standard by the book stuff, and it isn't until move 29 where black makes a mistake and Duboff spends the next 13 moves forcing black into checkmate. In this current position, it's best for black to sacrifice their queen with queen takes e6 and play on from there. But Zvain plays king c6 and Duboff begins a line. Pause the video here and try and figure out the entire line. I couldn't find it at all and I'm okay with that. It starts with queen to f3 check. The king is forced to b5, bishop takes c4 check, and Svein can't take back since his mate in 5 with queen c6 check, bishop c5 to block, rook c1 check, king d3, rook c3 check, king to d or e2, queen to g2 check, and then you can just ladder mate black from there. So Svein cannot take back. King a5 it is. Not that it really matters anyways. Queen d5 check from Dubov. Bishop c5 to block, then comes b4 check. The king is forced to a4. Now white has to play this non-forcing forcing move queen to g2. And what I mean by that is it doesn't put black in check or force any real moves to happen, but every move for black is straight up just losing. King takes a3 is mate in 2, queen takes e3 is mate in 3, Queen e4 check is mate in 4, etc, etc. Now here, black does not play the best move, which is bishop f5 check. White could easily respond to that with king a2, and the situation will not change at all, but hey, what can you do? Black instead opts for bishop takes b4, which is the second best move. White comes all the way back up with queen c6 check, and if you're wondering why Duboff didn't play this immediately after b4 check, it's because black's dark squared bishop is closing the file. Daniel had to find queen g2 and keep it there until bishop takes b4 was played or else the moves to follow would not be possible. Black has a couple of options but they're all mate in 6 or lower so king takes a3 was played. Duboff with another brilliant non-forcing forcing move bishop b3. Taking the bishop results in mate in 2 and the best move is once again bishop f5 check. Black plays bishop d7, attacking the queen, but this just speeds up the process from mate in 5 to mate in 3. Queen c1 check. The king is forced to take b3, and now it's, you guessed it, mate in 2. Queen c2 check, king a3, and finally queen to a2 checkmate. An absolutely amazing force mate and the longest recorded one that I could find. If you guys know of any others or even full games that you'd like me to go over, please leave a comment below and if you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you guys so much.